In our continued exploration of squad variations, today we're going to dive into the missing Krogan Scouts mission in Mass Effect 3. This time we'll bring Tally and Javik for reasons I'll explain in a short minute. But before we start, how's it going and Sven Squad? I just want to remind you to go check out the rest of the channel after you've watched this video. If Mass Effect is your thing, then this is the place for you. Oh, and leave a like too. It helps the channel more than you would expect. So, the missing Krogan Scouts is a mission that you get during the Tuchaka War campaign from either Rex or Reeve. The reason to why you should bring Javik is because he has some interesting backstory for the Rachni. And then there's also the fact that you'll have a pretty interesting exchange with Grunt at the start of the mission. The first dialogue is as usual, in the shuttle down to the planet. Any more information on the situation? I've received confirmation your backup has landed on the planet's surface. A group of Krogan commandos called Arlac and Company has conducted initial scans. Good to hear. What else, Edie? You were searching for a Krogan scouting party that disappeared in this area. They were investigating reports of activity around the Rachni Relay. And we've seen them in action. Somehow they're back. Your reports from Tuchanka confirm the Rachni have returned and are on the move. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We didn't have to face the entire Rachni army. It doesn't make sense. We let the last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappeared forever. She was desperate to save her race. Just be ready for anything. As you might have noticed, Tally also has a few dialogue lines to share. After you've landed, you're immediately reunited with Grunt. Both Javik and Tally have their own reactions to the conversation that follows. Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh. <laughs> Glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. A chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents. Even to my people. Ask me later. <sighs> Whatever you say. We've seen some Rachni, Grunt. The Reapers got to them. But we don't know if Rachni are involved here. Our job is to find out what happened to the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. A nest? Yes, Grunt, that would be lucky. <laughs> Our luck company, move out! Now most of the dialogue you'll hear from now on is banter. Some of it will be Javik sharing Prothean history with the Rachni, but the banter is also one of the main reasons why I brought Tally. You'll see what I mean. Here, check it out. Grunt was a good choice for this mission. Not that I don't expect a lot of sophisticated computer equipment down in this cave filled with poisonous gas and monsters. 
What's that? I see it. We need to find a tunnel out of here. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Anybody see that? Confirmed. Watch it! We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Definitely like the Rakhla you reported on the Chanka. Roger that. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. just their appearance. I think they're breeding an army down here. They reproduce quickly, and this place would hide any strange activity until it's too late. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. The enemy is as relentless as they were in our cycle. Stay focused! When you finally do encounter the Rachni Queen, Thales' reaction is just priceless. Moving on to the conversation with the Queen, Tali apparently takes the side of helping the Queen escape. We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Release us! We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Release us. She's badly wounded. She needs time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our lack company dies. Is that clear? I find it interesting that Tally sounds like she wants to help the Rachni Queen when you're about to decide what to do with her, since we just heard how much Tally seems to fear their spidery appearance. It just tells me that Tally has a gentle heart. And that's it for this video. Who did you bring for this mission? And if there's a certain mission you'd like me to explore with different squadmate combinations, leave that as a comment down below. And as always, have a great day, Ansven Squad. Mr. Holton, out.